Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're old here, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about favorite things at the drugstore right now. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the drugstore is like setting out new things, setting, setting out, sending out new things like crazy. And I feel like they just have so much great product, so many things that I love, and I want to share them with you guys. So if you want to see my favorite things and the best things I think that are out of the drugstore right now, just keep watching. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe first. And don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because, you know, they want to be a little extra. So don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified. Would not just me, any of your favorite YouTubers when they upload a new video. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm super excited to start this video. Okay. So first we're going to talk about face cleansers and cleaners and that stuff. Because if you can find good stuff at the drugstore like that, I feel like oh, that's good. Because I feel like this, you purchase a lot. Okay, so first off, this is a Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. I've used this for so many years and whenever I get little breakouts or whatever, I just use this and I always see it go right away. My fiance had really, really bad acne and he used this and it just helps so much. I just love this. I know it works and it does exactly what it says and it helps you acne. It has silactic acid in it and it just, it really helps. So another thing that I love to use for the drugstore, you can see it's like beaten up and everything. This is the St. Ives um, Apricot Cleanser that gently clears pores and cleans the skin. I absolutely love this. Can't you tell? I've been repurchasing this thing, this thing for years. This is always a thing that I have to repurchase. I always have to have this. I absolutely love it. It's not something I use every day. If I'm in the shower, I'll grab it. I always have it in the shower. If I have it in the shower, and I'll grab it. I'll usually use it. I just feel like it cleans my face. It doesn't really exfoliate, but it just takes off a gentle layer, and it really gets in there. I really like to go, like, on my pore area, like on my nose, I go really, really hard on it. It's something I absolutely love. Not a daily thing, but I use so much. So next, I'm going to talk about these little combo. So whenever I'm not using my, if I have, like, a light makeup on that day, just foundation and stuff, I uh, always go with this Simple Sensitive Expert Wipes. These are facial wipes that helps remove waterproof mascara and I just absolutely love these are cleansing wipes and I feel like they take off all my face makeup and if I have anything extra or if I have to clean up or like around my eyes I always 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 use this it's amazing and then I love the micellar water so I feel like no matter what you have to use this to get off your eyes so I use it with a cotton pad and I'll go like this don't pug, just kind of dab it lightly, and then that will get off the mascara, and it gets off everything. I love, love this. I highly recommend it, and I just love micellar water. Oh, it's just so great, and it's, like, not harsh on the skin. It's really, really good. So I'm going to also talk about this last thing. I was almost going to scoot past it. So I use this whenever my skin is super, super, super dry, and I need extra hydration in it. I love the Neutrogena. Hydra Boost Water Gel. I feel like this could totally be a dupe for the Belief <sighs> Aqua Bomb. It's literally like, I'm going to do this just for you guys. It's literally like just water and you put it on your face and it literally feels like your face drank a glass of water. Because it just gives you so much hydration. When my face is really, really dry, I have to have this. I absolutely love this. I don't use it every day because it is really, really hydrating. But if you have dry skin, I really recommend this. Especially if you're not supplementing anything else in your skincare routine to help you with the dry skin. Then I do recommend using this every day. So, a primer from the drugstore that I had just recently discovered. I've been... I want to try the NYX Angel Veil, but I've been hesitant because of the $15 price tag. That makes me sound stupid, but whatever. So... This is the Milani Prime Light Foundation. I absolutely love this. It's face priming slash strobing. It says it helps minimize pores, which honestly, it didn't. <laughs> um, but I love it because it kind of is like a dupe for the Becca. You can't really see it. The Becca um, 
backlight primer and it just really gives you a nice luminous glow underneath. I don't really notice if it helped keep my makeup on any longer, but I really, really like the. I've been grabbing it a lot, lot, lot lately. So this comes to no surprise. I love the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me in the color 210 Beige. It really leaves me dewy and smooth. No, I'm just kidding. I just love this because it's so lightweight and on my light days, which I usually, if I'm like at school or if I just, I want to wear makeup with something light, I wear this because it makes my skin look amazing. It looks it look like you have no imperfections. When this runs out, I'm for sure going to repurchase this. I, oh, I just love it. It has SPF 18 in it, and it's for no more to dry skin. I have never tried the Matte and Poreless, but I've tried this one, and I love it, so I'm sure the Matte and Poreless is just as good. But, you know, with the dry skin thing, that just doesn't work out. So go along with the Matte, the Maybelline Fit Me. Something else I love, which is the bottom run now, you can tell I love it, is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this. I use this on the daily, almost every day. I like it some more than some of the high-end concealers. It's just a great concealer. You can't really see it there. Um, it does crease a little on me right here, but I have a really, really big um, under eye line right here, so everything creases on me. So I don't blame this. But I know a lot of people says it's a dupe for the NARS Radiant Concealer, and I think it is because it's so good. It's so good. I love it. It covers up my under eye darkness, which you can see here today because I went with a no makeup look which is literally no makeup on today and I just really really love it I sometimes I'll use it just right here that I put in the glow video that I just like to put it right here just to cover this up and I'll just wear it like that this is a really really good foundation um, concealer and it's cheap can't go wrong with that <clears throat> another concealer I have like three <laughs> another concealer that I just discovered the other day but I've been using it like cray cray is this Milani. Milani, what is this? Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. It's so, it's not really, it's like not really thick, but it, it just blends so nice and it gives that extra light. If you put it right here, it'll give you that extra light for the highlighted look that you want. And I like because it has a little ball sponge thing right here. And then it has this that goes into here. To keep it not from exploding everywhere. Because that, that would suck. And it comes in this little tube. And I just really like it. I don't know. It's not. It's kind of light. I've, the other day I wore this without um, setting it. And it stayed all day. So it's just a really, really good product. Something else I love is the Wet n Wild Highlight and Concealing Pen. You can see it's almost out. I love it because you put it right here. And then it adds... That extra light, kind of the same thing as that, but I think this is cheaper. I'm almost out. I really, really like this. This is something that I'll use too, because I sometimes will use it a lot with this, because since this is not that light, this will add that extra lightness in it. If you need a highlight, so I'm going to put it right here. Or with this next product, I love, love, love this. The Master Conceal. This is the best concealing uh, contour conceal thingy ever so I don't really use this side that much the light because everything cakes on me and I just don't have a good feeling about this feels nice but I use this side a lot to contour this side has actually got me to start contouring my nose I've been contouring my nose a lot lately to cream contour here the only bad thing is if you do use this side, like if you go like like if you don't be careful, you can see like it'll get on the other side. That's the only thing I don't like. So I definitely think Maybelline should come out with just a contour pen or just a concealer pen. Or I guess it's highlight, not conceal, but just like a highlighting pen. I just don't like these kind of stick things to highlight because I don't find a reason unless you could highlight under here, but I usually don't, so I really like these. Oops, I forgot this. So you guys see me use this a lot in my videos to prime. I love the CC cream by NYX to cover up the redness, the green one. That's all I gotta say. It's really good from the drugstore. Um, I have the Urban Decay color corrector in the green and it kind of compares to that. It's just as good. It does the same thing. It's really light on the skin and, I, and it doesn't peek through, which I really like. 
Okay, so I have two bronzers from the drugstore that I really, really love. So first off is the butter bronzer. So when I first saw this, I'm like, that's not going to work for my skin tone. It is too, 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 too light. But this is like slowly but surely became my favorite bronzer that I have. The only thing is like mine is like, and then it does smell like pina colada. Which if you don't like that, you might not like this if you don't like the smell. But I really like it. I like the smell because it makes me feel like I'm on vacation. So another bronzer. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Radiance National Ra Natural Radiance Bronzer. So Casey Holmes raved about this so 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 much. She absolutely loves this bronzer, and I'm like, I love her. So I trust her. We're like, I feel like kind of the same skin tone. Not really. So I just like I had to try this. So I always just swirl them all together and use it. I use it to put bronzer right here. And then if I contour, I'll put it right here. Just to add bronziness to the face. I absolutely love it. It's been getting some love. I use this probably almost every day also. This this has been replacing these two things have been replacing my high-end things. I've been grabbing this more than my Kevin Aquan, more than my Anastasia contour kit. I've been grabbing it so so much lately. And I'm so happy because I'm balling on a budget here. We don't need to be repurchasing expensive things. And this one too, which I never really used a bronzer that much. But this one I've been loving, 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 loving these two. I definitely recommend them, especially if you're around my skin tone. So, blush. I'm not even going to talk about these so, so much because are these the same color? Oh, I meant to grab, so I have three of these. I didn't even realize they kind of look the same color. Um, I absolutely love, I love these. I will never, if I'm in Sephora, let me tell you guys. If I'm in Sephora, I'm like, I'm not going to buy blush. No. Because the Milani brushes are so freaking good. These are so good. The big blushes and then Luminoso is just gorgeous for the sum, for the spring. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. I think. <laughs> um, so this is the best, best highlight ever at the drugstore it's like how did you do that because some companies can't even get this some high-end companies their their highlights are like and then you get this from what i'm for like 4.99 i'm like what i found this online and i find it in amazon i had actually got this at cvs in buckhead atlanta so that's where i found it a long long time ago but that's where i found it at cvs in buckhead atlanta um i have the pink doesn't pull at all. It's definitely a goldy color. The pink does not come out. It just is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight for your money. If you need a highlight at the drugstore or around that price range, look at Amazon. Look at your local drugstore. Go to all your drugstores. I had seen this actually near me in Walgreens and Groveland not that long ago. So I definitely, definitely recommend this because of the price point and it's a beautiful highlight. I don't even have to tell you guys that Jordan Habes' Besh Lash Cream is my favorite at the drugstore. <clears throat> so Wet n Wild definitely came out with this eyeshadow, little eyeshadow palette and their eyeshadows are Z-bomb. Look at that. L look at that. And look at this. Do you see how pigmented that is guys? Like it's freaking crazy. It's freaking crazy. That came from the drugstore. Some companies can't even get it right. And what mild has got it going on right now. I can't believe this little palette was that pigmented. So I definitely, if you need some eyeshadows and this is in your budget range and you can't get high-end eyeshadows, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Wet n Wild and also this palette because this palette, the, <laughs> the BH Cosmetics X Carly Bible palette, this palette... So this isn't at the drugstore, it's in the drugstore section at Ulta right now. This palette is so, so, oops. This palette is so, so, so pretty. And I just love it because one, it's affordable. I think it was like $14.99 and it is super pigmented. It's super buttery and creamy whenever you, whenever you um, touch it. The, sh the shimmer shades are great. The highlights are even greater. The highlight shades are nice, buttery, and smooth, though. And everything's just so good about this. It has a little mirror, which 
it's like Kylie, you couldn't put a mirror in your first two palettes, but BH Cosmetics got a, a mirror in this $14.99 palette. I'm throwing shade. Um, yeah, but I absolutely love this. It's super cheap, super affordable, $14.99 at Ulta and online. So I really, really recommend this too. If this is in your budget range. And that is it. That was a lot, a lot of talking. So if you're still here, go ahead and put this emoji. I'm so proud of you. You, you're the real MVP. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know drugstore items are such a thing right now because they're cheap. And they're coming out with such great things. So if you want to see more videos like this, more tutorials using more affordable project products, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round.